Hey everybody, welcome back to Natural Blondes. Today I'm here to talk to you about blood types, specifically the A blood type. If you don't yet know your blood type, you can contact my office and we can send a blood typing kit out to you. So being an A blood type is very interesting. So I, A blood types tend to be very cooperative. They're very sensitive. They're great in crowds, but they're also prone to anxiety. And some of their weaknesses are that they have a sensitive digestive tract and vulnerable immune systems. So with those being major issues, medical risks can be high cholesterol, heart disease, anemia, liver and gallbladder issues, cancer, diabetes, and well, you just don't handle stress very well. So A blood types initially came from Asia or the Middle East, and then they migrated to Western Europe. And A's are mutated from an O, and they're much more cooperative than us O blood types, and they get along in crowded communities much better. And A blood types tend to need a more vegetarian type diet. So because you're predisposed to heart disease and cancer and diabetes, you're really the exact opposite of an O when it comes to eating. So you guys are gonna store more of your meat as fat and you have a low stomach acid, so you don't have the ability to break down the meat aspect as well as an O blood type would. So when you're looking at a diet profile, you may eat a little bit of wheat. You wanna stick with things that are not genetically modified. Sprouted wheat is your best option because that's still alive. So something like an Ezekiel bread. And then we're looking at dairy. So dairy is not a great option for you as an A blood type. Um, it really can inhibit your nutrient metabolism. And getting more into that, you could do yogurts and kefir and any of the cultured type dairies, but you don't really wanna do too much of that because A blood types tend to have more sinus issues. So it will make you more congested the more dairy you're eating because it does cause more mucus. So you can always go to more of the soy options for milks or cheeses instead of doing actual dairy. Uh, when it comes to eating meat, we really can give you fish as an option, as long as it's grilled um, or baked, not breaded and fried. And you can do chicken and turkey because those are lean meats. We're really gonna stay away from the higher fat meats like pork and some of the red meats and things like that. None of those are really going to be beneficial for you. When we do talk about meats, we really want you to stay away from deli meats because those have nitrates in them. And nitrates are known to be cancer causing. So if you are going to do meats, don't do deli meats. We want to look at a little bit of fat. So you guys tend to have liver and gallbladder issues because you don't process fat as well as other blood types. So you will be allowed to do maybe a little bit of olive oil and some nuts and seeds because that'll give you some protein. Um, peanuts are actually beneficial for you. Beans and soybeans are also a good protein, but chickpeas are not a great option. And you can do some rice, which is also another way to get some fiber in too. And then veggies, you have tons of veggies to pick from. Olives are not beneficial. Olive oil is great, but not olives in general, okay? And then you can do all the other veggies except for the nightshades, really. So the nightshades would be peppers, tomatoes, potatoes, and eggplants. Those have a high lectin count in you, and or in the vegetables, and they will cause a lot of inflammation in you. So if you're someone who suffers from a lot of joint pain or digestive issues, those are one of the first food groups we take away because they really lessen the inflammation if you're not eating them on a regular basis. Broccoli and mushrooms are really beneficial for you as an A blood type. And um, you don't do well with tropical fruits, but you are really, really good with pineapple and lemon. One of the best things you can do is start your day with hot water and lemon because it really helps with uh, the digestive system. You should not be doing any vinegars, which I know is super difficult because most of the condiments that we use in salad dressings have vinegars in them, but they do upset and irritate the stomach lining. So for salad dressings, we always suggest doing like an olive oil and lemon mixture with maybe some spices like basil and sea salt and pepper instead to eliminate the vinegar aspect. Garlic is great for you, and you are allowed to do a little bit of red wine, coffee, and green tea. I always suggest if you do wine to do a no sulfate wine. Those are important too. Um, when we talk about supplements for an 
A blood type, we have a lot of different ones that we work with. So if you're gonna be an A blood type who likes to eat meat more than the average person, we suggest food enzymes. So food enzymes is gonna give you the betaine hydrochloric acid that you need to actually break down these foods that you're eating that uh, you don't have the acid to break down. So food enzymes is the number one option if you are gonna tend to eat red meat or you know now that it may be uh, the season of ribs, this is your option to go with. It will also break down anything else like your carbohydrates and your vegetables and fruits as well. And then if you're more of a vegetarian or are a vegetarian or even vegan and still have some digestive upset, Proactizyme is our next best option. So Proactizyme is more working with, you know, amylase and helping the digestive flow of your vegetables and your proteins. It will still digest some of your fats for you as well. So we always make sure your fats are being digested. The other product that we like to work with too, and we always suggest you take this about 30 minutes before your meal to stimulate digestion is digestive bitters tonic. So Bitters um, are such as orange peel and uh, gentian root and cardamom seed. These actually help to stimulate your own enzymes to help break down food that's coming in. So you take this a little while before your meal to stimulate your own enzyme production. It works super, super great. Um, let's talk about stress for one minute before I get into supplements. So A blood types react to the first stage of stress. So they kind of have this light bulb that goes on and the brain starts producing this anxiety and irritability and hyperactivity and your immune system goes weak because of it. So A blood types react to stress very, very differently and they need a little bit more stress reduction than everybody else. So when we talk about stress reduction, I'm gonna talk about meditation and yoga because that's very important for an A blood type. You need to do activities that are very stress relieving. So I think yoga is a great option, so is meditation. Tai Chi is something else that's great too. We never want an A blood type to do heavy exercise because heavy exercise on an A actually makes you more tense all over again. And that's not really, good if your body is being confronted with that all the time because you're already in a naturally tense state. As an A blood type, you tend to be more A type personality. So you have a harder time relaxing than other people. So when we talk about stress, we have to talk about immune system. They go, always go hand in hand. So for stress, first of all, NutraCalm is one of my favorite products for an A blood type. Anybody who ever uses the words overwhelmed, I give them Nutricol. This has a great blend of B vitamins, but it also has some herbs in here like valerian and hops and passion flower to help calm you down and take that edge off without making you tired. It's really a phenomenal blend for you A's. And then I will talk about the immune system. So for the immune system, number one, you guys are prone to allergies, but number two, the amount of stress you get put under causes your immune system to get weak. So a lot of the times if you are getting sick, it's because your stress is causing your immune system to be stressed. So one of the best products is called Immune Stimulator. Now, many of you may not have heard of this product before, but we talked in the beginning about how much A blood types love mushrooms. And this is a product that is full of different medicinal mushrooms. So if you need something for your blood type, <clears throat> this is a great product to work with, Immune Stimulator. Now, when we go a little bit further, we talked about your digestive tract. So your digestive tract needs help, so you're gonna be the blood type that always wants to have probiotics in their life. And so we use this four-strain probiotic for most A blood types. It's four strong strains of lactobacillus and bifobacterium. Uh, this is Bifidophilus. I call it Biffy for short because it's hard to pronounce for some people. So this strain is great taken on an empty stomach, not with food, and it helps to give the bacteria something or the gut something to eat all the time and keeps the good flora going to also protect your immune system. But we're also thinking about allergies that you may have too. And then this makes the digestive system stronger as well. 
Okay, next on my list, because we did talk about how liver and gallbladder disorders are very common if you're a high fat eating A blood type. So what I love to use to protect the liver is milk thistle. And protecting the liver is very important to keep the fats moving throughout the body. So milk thistle, you can use the time released. Um, some people like to use the combination instead. Time release is one of my favorites because A blood types, remember I said, are more sensitive. So we always wanna start off slow as an A blood type. We never wanna say, hey, take 10 milk thistle a day. No, we'll start with two and see how you do and we can move you up if you can handle a little bit more. Because when we're working on the liver, there's always a chance of a detox, detoxing aspect coming out. And you know, they can have a little headache or they might have more bowel movements or feel stomach discomfort. And a lot of times they're already feeling stomach discomfort. So we wanna look at heart health with an A blood type too. So, you know, heart disease can happen with an A blood type. And when we want to protect that, number one, we said not to eat too many bad fats but we also like to use COQ10. So this is critical for your heart health as a type A. With your stress level, we don't want you to be prone to a heart attack um, because of the amount of stress you're putting on your body. This is also why we don't want you doing extreme physical exercise either. So CoQ10, at least 100 milligrams a day, is very, very important. One of the other products that I love is vitamin E with selenium. So we use vitamin E with selenium for people who tend to have blood clotting disorders um, because this helps to keep the blood thin um, the selenium helps to keep a lot of the digestive system, even your thyroid, very happy. So this is another great product you can try to add to your supplement program, okay? Um, for those uh, people that I, I know are A blood types, this rings true so much when we talk about personality. So A blood types are very clever, they're very passionate, but they tend to bottle up a lot of their anxiety. And they're definitely not suited for the high pressure jobs. Um, they tend to un unravel because they become very anxious, they become very paranoid. And a lot of times they take things a little bit too personally. So when you're dealing with A blood types, remember that they're gonna be a little bit more sensitive all around. They're sensitive in their digestive tract, they're sensitive in their emotions, and I think that will help you if you're not an A blood type, deal with other people who are A's a little bit more. Um, I always try to talk about how interesting it is when you know people in respectable positions and their, what their blood type was. And Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, and Jimmy Carter were all A blood types. So if you wanna look up how their career went, um, it might actually make some sense on what happened in their lives and knowing that they were an A blood type. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Make sure you hit that little bell so you can be notified every time Natural Blondes updates and puts out new videos. Thanks for joining me today and join me next for part four, which will be the B blood type. Thank you. Bye.